गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस टूटोरियल आई गन टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेसिक डेटा बेस ऑपरेशन लाइक सेव अपडेट डिलीट और सेलेक्टिंग ए रिकॉर्ड यूजिंग हाई बनेट आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ स्टूडेंट टेबल इन द डेटा बेस एंड आई एम गन परफॉर्म ऑल दीज बेसिक डेटा बेस ऑपरेशन ऑन दिस टेबल यूजिंग हाई बनेट प्रोवाइडेड फंक्शंस Here in the application, I have created a student class, which is representing the student table, which is present in the database. And here is the main class. We'll write code to show you how to perform the basic database operations using Hibernate provided functions on the student table. So let's start. I'll start up with save or insert operation. Here I'm creating the student object with the name gone to one. and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this object into the student table so how do i do that for this simply put this statement here and you are done here i'm simply passing this student object to the save function which is provided by hibernate and what hibernate is going to do when you run the application it will simply insert this object into the student table and while doing so it will generate the value of student id automatically according to the generated scheme you have provided here on top of it let me quickly run the application and show you how it works yes hibernate has inserted a record into the student table let us see in the database yes it has inserted a record with student id 1 and gone to 1 as the name So with the save method I just inserted a student record into the student table. Now question is how would I retrieve or fetch this student record into the Hibernate application? And the answer is using the get method which is provided by Hibernate. For this you simply write these statements here and you are done. What I'm doing here is I'm passing two arguments to the get method the first argument is the name of the class which is mapped to the student table whose record i want to retrieve and the second argument is the primary key or the identifier value for that record this one so the idea is using the get method i would simply get the desired record from the student table this way and here i'm simply printing out the value of student name for this retrieved student object let me quickly run it and show you how it works cool so using the get method we have just retrieved the desired record from the student table into the hibernate application this is one very important point i want to tell you over here for this method the get method will return the student record for the primary key value which you mention here but say if you are providing here a primary key which doesn't exist in the student table in that case this function is going to return null so you need to have a proper exception handling mechanism of here so just to keep this tutorial simple i'm not doing all that All right so now after get and say methods question is how do i update this already existing student record in the student table say i want to change the name from gone to one to gone to one updated how do i do that and the answer is using the update method which is provided by hibernate here you simply write these two statements and you are done Here I'm simply modifying the value of student objects. That is modifying the name from gone to one to gone to one updated for the student record which I'm retrieving using the get method here, and passing the student object to the update function. Let me quickly run it and show you how it works. Yes, Hibernate. has changed the name from gone to one to gone to one modified as per the code that we have written over here so the update method has just updated the already existing student record 
in the student table. Now after save, get and update methods, there's one thing left and that is how would I delete this already existing student record from the student table. And the answer is using the delete method which is provided by Hibernate framework. For this, you simply write this statement. So what I'm doing over here is I'm retrieving the student object using the get method and I'm passing this student object to the delete function. So this delete function would simply delete this record from the student table. Let us quickly run it and see whether it performs this action or not. Cool, it has performed the delete operation. Cool, so now there is no record in the student table. It means it has deleted the already existing student record from the student table. Guys, I've just covered save, update, get and delete methods, which are the basic methods provided by Hibernate. There are many more methods which are provided by Hibernate, like persist, load, refresh, flush, etc, etc. I'm going to cover all these methods in the subsequent tutorials. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about one of the most important topics in a Hibernate framework, and that is the concept of transient persistent and detached states of an object. Guys, a big thank you for liking my tutorials. Please provide your feedback and comments below the video or simply write to me on this ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.